Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 22 and 23 today. The king went, the guy went to receive his kingdom. He got his kingdom. He comes back. The people that he gave to invest his money, the first two, did a faithful job. But now we come to the third, the third guy. And let's see what we have here. All right, this isn't going to be too good. Starting at verse 20. Then another came, saying, Master, here is your mina, which I have kept put away in a handkerchief. For I feared you, because you are an austere man. You collect what you did not deposit, and reap what you did not sow. And he said to him, Out of your own mouth I will judge you, you wicked servant. You knew that I was an austere man, and collecting what I did not deposit, and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you not put my money in the bank, that at my coming it might have, I might have collected it with interest? So where's this guy's excuse? Well, he certainly got an excuse. Oh, I, I, th I knew what kind of a person you I knew what your character was and so I was desperate what not to lose it and so he went and he hides it so yeah in the end he's he's in trouble anyway right because he was given the privilege he was given the responsibility to take it and invest it and this guy really it's interesting I think he represents a lot of Christian people isn't it don't you think you've been given a lot don't you think I've been given a lot have we has the Lord really received the kind of return on on his investment in us that he should have have we been diligent in our soul winning? Hey, have we even been diligent in attending church, diligent in returning tithes and offerings? Have we been diligent in, in telling people about Jesus in any way, shape, or form? Or are we just kind of quietly going through our life, just kind of keeping to ourselves and keeping quiet? Is that what we're doing? Have we been faithful servants? Or are we like this guy that got one little piece here and he couldn't even, he was refused out of fear. He refused even to deal with that. I'm not so sure we're in the good side of things like we should be. So, friend, let's not be like this guy. This is a tragic example, and we can do better. And praise the Lord, he'll help us. But uh, look at this uh, lesson here. And, and when the lesson's not quite over here, we're going to carry on tomorrow morning. But right now, let's pray. Father in heaven, we, if we will admit it, we've often been uh, unfaithful stewards. We've been more like this guy than the other guys. Help us to repent and reform and help us to be diligent in our Christianity. Christianity is not a passive sit in with your hand in the chips, bowl of chips, just watch kind of thing. Although we're in this thing, Lord, where we have been tra are being trained right now to just just can slurp everything up off of off of screens, computer screen, phone screen. Just just be passive blobs on the way here. No, that's not your plan, Lord. Help us, help us, help us. We ask in Jesus' name, Amen. All right, friend. Let's see what happens as we try to conclude this and wrap it up tomorrow morning. And uh, we come to a part that often isn't talked about on this parable, but we're going to follow out the parable. See you tomorrow morning.